let's continue with more Grim Dawn. We're in the outskirts of Burwich and we're trying to make our way up front, closer to the city so that we can get that portal. Iron Revolver. Uh, so we can get that portal, defend it. Oh. Move along, Who are you? Stranger. Oh, this is a blacksmith. I hope you're out here, out here fighting the good fight. Yes, uh, first of all, what are you doing out here? Same as you, I suppose, seeking my purpose in our fight to save the cane. The Black Legion is out there still and they could surely use a blacksmith. Who's the Black Legion? Dan Death's Bannerman. Surely you've heard of the Imperium's elite, or were you living under a rock before the Grim Dawn? I'm here for the Malin Milim. And they asked me, what do you know about that? Duncan needs it to help the refugees. He is a talented boy, that one. The way he weaves magical properties into his craft astounds even me sometimes. I prefer a finely honed blade and a solid shield to that nonsense, though. Duncan was my first apprentice, but he still needs to learn some priorities. Those people he's trying to help can't even help themselves. Our knowledge is a rare gift. We cannot squander it on those that refuse to fight for Karen. No, no, I have a group in Defer's Crossing. You could join us. Devil's Crossing, eh? You certainly seem to like, do seem like the capable sort. If the rest of your group is anything like you, well, humanity just might have a chance. Very well. I will be your armor. Together we will strike back against the invaders and retake Kern for humanity. Um. I think I want the guy who can put magical properties into my weapons. It is true, Duncan brings a fresh approach to the forge with his arcane weapons, but he goes about his work with unrivaled energy. But he still lacks the experience to make weapons for real soldiers and masters of the blade. I cannot have the power of Melian Marine waste away when we're at war. I will see that this his work benefits humanity. You'd put him to work, eh? You suddenly do seem like the capable sort. Very well, Duncan will inherit the Melian Marine. Take it to him. Let him do his charity work, but after that... Okay. So we've sided with Duncan, because I think it's just better to have... Uh... It's better to have a... Uh... Loaded passage interest. I think it's much better to have a smith who can uh, imbue weapons with magical properties than someone who just makes classic traditional weapons. At least that's my reasoning behind the decision right there. But uh, where do we find him? Okay, we just keep going up ahead. Alright, Duncan, you better be worth it. Do you have the... M yes, I do have it. I'm impressed. Angrim is a tough man to convince of anything, but I'm glad it did not come down to blows. Thank you. I will do much good with this. So, will you join me in Devil's Crossing? Yes, of course. First, I must complete my work here. Now that I have my master's forging hammer, I will be able to provide these people with quality equipment. I'll see you in Devil's Crossing when I'm finished, I promised. Okay, we'll see you there. speak to Duncan in Devil's Crossing. Do we have to do that now? Okay, you know what? Let's just head to Devil's Crossing. I'm pretty sure he will be there. I hope he's not too hard to find. Duncan, he's in there. Okay. Alright, Duncan. Not a bad place you got here. Many souls in need of my services. Sibs, I'll be plenty busy. Glad you decided to join us. Hey, got any more scrap metal? Okay. Let's see, what can you do?
the blacksmith crafts an enchanted item appropriate to your level of magical, of magical or even rare quality, with a bonus chance of, of generating extremely rare items. Not sure how this one works. Can we can we just give him items to work with or let's try this once if Combine items placed in the crafting window. This button will be highlighted when all the card materials are added. Hmm. Go on, yeah. yeah, yeah, no thanks. Not now. Um, we're gonna have to sell some of that stuff off. But we'll see what the blacksmith can do for us. But so far this guy has not, uh, he has not let me down yet. As most as much damage as it possibly can right now, but uh, let's get rid of the, some of these things. We're not going to use the knives, the shields. What's this? Fifth claw. Get rid of that. It's two. That. We can now equip the awesome ring. Uh, we don't need this. We need 193 physique to wear that. So we'll just leave it for now. Alright, so we've completed that. Let's head back to... to the Burwich outskirts. Let's take a look at the map and see. We can we have to explore up ahead. This has not yielded anything, no. Siding with Duncan was not the smart thing to do. We'll see. Nothing here. Let's get rid of this werewolves. Of the map. Okay, let's head back here. 
finish what's left off of this section. Now these things move fast. All of these are just items we'll sell for, what, three iron? Let's see. So I don't feel like they're worth it. It's not worth it for me to go looting everything, moldering fields. Just to sell it for three iron, two iron. thing following us? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> it's vanished. Uh, let's take a look here and see if it has something to do with this. of damage you can possibly think of. Go down already. Okay. Epic boots. I'll take the books. The boots. Uh, searing ember. Take that. Why is this dude following me? I need to look at my. <laughs> uh, real one handed mace. Magic amulet. Patchwork, no. Nope. Nope. Foot ration. So it looks like from time to time, when we defeat uh, a huge group of enemies, or a tough group of enemies, 
we get that pet there that just follows us and starts taking out enemies on our behalf. Gazer, alright, I'll take that. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why that happens yet. I'll need to find out. Okay, go down. Alright, let's help ourselves a little here. Let's get some more physique. And here. Let's do that as well. Oh, we have pet attack. I wonder where we got that. So this adds uh, lightning. got pet attack. We need to think about, we need to, we need to learn how to get a permanent pet that will follow us around. Get the crystal. in there. That was a, an untouched meal. Yep. So now our retaliation flame has a chance to let off lightning bolts to electrocute nearby enemies. Sweet. We got a diary here. I'll read that later. Let's see. Bolt action rifle of murder 22 to 7. Not good enough. Started. No, we're just. I know to get to Burwich, we'll we'll need to keep heading up north. Where did we get this pet from? We got a pet. We acquired a pet, but I'm not sure where from. I need to look into that. Who is this? Nabal the Storm Seeker. He's, he heals. Reduced my attack range and power. 
with some weird... Ooh, we need to get out of there, there's too much lightning. There's too much lightning. Flame can do the work for us, the retaliation flame. Somebody's healing him. Damn it. All the progress we had made has been undone by some healer. Let's get away. He's a bit really strong right now. But we have him. He's down. He's down. Somebody's shooting. Is this scrap? Polished emerald will take it. Greaves. Take that. Kind of shotgun. Mm. Plus four damage per second. It's actually better. It's actually better than what we have. first. Bearing Ember. That's fire damage. Uh, no, everything we have is better. Alright, we're about 22 minutes in, so let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll pick up with more Grim Dawn. We'll see you in the next video.